and the bridegroom rise up and face the population. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God. And before this congregation to join, we will have to say of David and Oyekola de Bedu, the holy matrimony. Marriage is the holy estate instituted by God. It is a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, really and totally committed to each other as a companion for life. That our Lord Jesus Christ structures. Almost and allows marriage to the canon of Galilee where he performs his first miracle. This is why the husband and wife relationship is used as a figure of mystical union between Christ and his church. Apostle Paul commends marriage as a worthy and honorable institute. Thus, the two, husband and wife, forsaking all others, becomes one flesh. A union of heart, mind, and body. They are to live in whole hearted love for each other. Therefore, it are not to be entered into lightly or hastily, but thoughtfully, reverently, and in the fear of God, duly considering the cause for which it is ordained. Reasons for marriage. Number one. Marriage was ordained for companionship, that is to say for right poor relationship. Mutual, societal, help and comfort, which all and allow us to have for each other in prosperity and overcoming adversity. Number two, marriage was ordained for protection against sin, for avoidance of sexual immorality, such as fornication. That some persons that have not the gift of celibacy might marry and keep themselves on the fire of Christ's body, as for the apostle admonished. Number three, marriage was ordained for procreation of children to be brought up in the fear of the Lord Jesus Christ, abiding in the teaching of His Word, and to praise His holy name. It produced holy estates. O ye call and we will have to say of David, come now to be joined as husband and wife. I will pray that Lord bless their union and ministry for his glory in the name of Jesus. And the house say with the sounding Amen. Amen.
you know for sure that these people are joined together in their wife as God was allowed. Their marriage is not love. I do solemnly declare. I know not of any lawful impediment why I, for the Father Pedro, may not be joined in holy matrimony to follow up the side of the Pedro. But, I do solemnly declare, I know not of any lawful impediment why I, for the Father Pedro, may not be joined in holy matrimony to follow up the Pedro. Almighty God, before you, all desires are prayed, and no secret is hidden from you. We pray that you cleanse and sanctify the heart of these people. Pour your spirit in their heart to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Who give who give this woman to be married to this man? I, Brother David, give my daughter. I give my daughter to you have to marry her. Did you see the face of the Lord in your effort to choose a wife? And did you receive any definite assurance that this woman is God's choice for you? Yes, I am sure that Oluwabu Sayyade is God's choice for me. Do you see the face of the Lord in your effort to choose a husband and do you receive any definite assurance that this man is God's choice for you? Do you desire to have a love you are holding and the wife? Yes, I do. So, will you face her and bless your truth? I, who in Valadin Peru, in obedience to God's word, now leave my father and my mother to return to you, Oluwam Sayyotevi, as my wife in holy matrimony, living together with him according to God's ordained law. I promise to be a truthful and dependent husband to you. For I will love you, honor you, as long as we both shall live. So we go. Amen. Amen.
through Jesus Christ our Lord. With this ring, I work and with all that I am and all that I have endowed thee. In the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this ring, I work and with all that I am and all that I have endowed thee. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as Holy Father and Holy Father consented together in Holy Wedlock, and have witnessed, and have witnessed the same before God, and is accepted, and have pledged their faith to each other, by the authority vested in me, as the minister of the Church of the Living God, and in conformity with the, with of his, of the law of this country, I pronounce you, husband and wife, husband and wife, Mr. and Ms. Mrs. Oyekola de Bello, in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. And, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. and those who before God, I join together, let no man put asunder. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless you, preserve and keep you. Amen. May the Lord mercifully, with his favor, look upon you. Amen. And so fill you with all spiritual blessings Amen. and grace Amen. that ye may, may so live together in this life and the world to come. That you may have life everlasting. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby present to you the name of Mr. and Blessed is everyone that fear the Lord, that walketh in his way. For you will eat the food of your labor. Blessing and prosperity will be the Lord, Lord of your family. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. Your wife, Oliver Kusayo, shall be as a fruitful vine Amen. within your house. Amen. Your children will be like holy plants burned upon your table. Amen. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion. Amen. And you shall see the good of your land. Amen. All the days of your life. Amen. You shall, yes, you shall see your children, children. Amen. And peace upon your family. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I will go before you and make the cooking cooked days straight. Say the Isaiah 45 and 2. Now this is the charge for the congregation. We have just witnessed a solemn a solemn ceremony of holy matrimony. We have been we have been reminded of the divine origin of family life as we as we listen to spiritual testimony that in the beginning God created man and woman to complement each other. For this reason, say the Bible, say the Bible, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave his wife and the two shall become one flesh. At such momentum occasion as this, it is proper that we make serious attempt to remind the well-wishers of the reason for their concomitant responsibility. Each of us is invited to, to be new by the new couple and their family because they hold, they hold us here and regard us as those among whom the newly wedded will actualize the implication of the crucial step they are taking and which we are witness. We are witnesses. The couple realizes that no family lives itself alone, for no life can be fully lived in isolation. They believe that whatever they make, 
of this union will bear the mark of our contribution of our discussion. We are therefore going to count on us as well we shall. I am convinced that each of us would like to do his or her best under God to help this new country. If this is your determination, do you please rise and let us all in the presence of God and one another give our children pledge to do all that lies in our power to help them. We will read what we do, what follows uh, together. To go.
In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. And so, Father, we are grateful to you once again this morning for these our children. Oh, you call me? Oh, you want to say your belly? The two days have come down today. The two individuals have come down today according to your own arithmetic. That's one we began to work, to become one. But I thank you for everything that has taken place. We want to appreciate you because now we believe that before these girls were from their mother's homes, you have known them. You have brought them by them. You have joined them together already. In this program, it has been done. It has been completed. It has been sold. Today, we are only doing it, only to formalize it, to make it public. That everyone we know that we are going to be able to do that together. Thank God for this occasion. To you, we are going in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I will thank you for all these weaknesses, this night of weaknesses that have come here today in order to take this occasion to be part of the joy of this day. We thank you for everyone that is here. Thank you for every family that is here today. We thank you also for every congregation that is here today as well. Thank you for all this is your peace and it's marvelous in our eyes. We say it once again, be that exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Your servants have pronounced them after a word that is Mr. and Mrs. Olu Konebe, Olu Waku Sayo, Benu. For now, we say this hour that as they have been pronounced after that a word, Father, you will be able to be so forever in Jesus' name. Amen. We have prayed together. We have prayed our message together to pray for these ones because they are your children, because they are the apple of your eyes, because God, they are coming from today to solemnize their marriage. We have only prayed that everything that has been put upon them shall come to pass in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We are not going to be as of the evil device of heaven. So we have for I stand for her and go for you. On behalf of this, my parents will not me. And I say, I declare that every other pronouncement that is not of God, every other statement that is not come from God, which anyone that has said to them this world, I stand for her and say that it shall not stand in Jesus' name. They say it shall not stand in Jesus' name. They say the pronouncement of politics are children's way. That God says in the book of Gabriel, the three level. And that God says that I, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a special day, to bless you. I pray that every God and God is the Lord is God. Will come to pass the life in Jesus' name. Amen. The attributes of God for this world is that they should have God in marriage. The heartbeat of God for this world is that they should have happiness in marriage. It is the heartbeat for them is that they should become one place for life. Therefore, I say that everything that God is giving to us is us. We have come to pass their lives in Jesus' name. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I put up the point today, so as you can say, it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. As you are starting a journey today, that journey will be easy for you to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Every difficulty on your ways, every challenge on your ways, every problem on your ways, every challenge on your ways, which will make you face as you go to get along the way. You know, you have to become the one in Jesus' name. Amen. The strength you need, the power you need, the development you need, the spirit you need. So where you stop, you don't want to be supposed to pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you, building and godly children. Children that to fulfill the purpose which God has for them. Children that to fulfill their destinies. Children that to manifest the glory of God in this generation, in that generation. You don't want to be from the point of view in Jesus' name. Amen. With this woman, I pray for you. You will be fruitful in Jesus' name. 
I said, you want to find an against us there. The arm of the enemy is not going to touch you against us there. At conception, that he is for you against us there. At the time of delivery, that he is for you against us there. Oh, I said that the time of delivery, we have the people for you to do against us there. It's a good way to tell Jesus here. Once you get this marriage, the Lord will go ahead of you. He will level every mountain and reach ahead of you. He will fill every valley and go be up before you. He will save you every path for you in Jesus' name. And so it's a good way to tell Jesus here. You know that people show you Jesus here. Everything that you do or not come to do, as a top people say, my wife, my wife, it's a bit easy for you to accomplish in Jesus' name. What has been difficult for you before? When you were married apart, when you were separated, when you were single, now that you come together, it is a beginning for you to accomplish in Jesus' name. The hand of God has been put upon your protest in life in Jesus' name. So you will succeed in Jesus' name. You will excel in Jesus' name. Your children will excel in Jesus' name. Your children will agree for Jesus' name. What you are doing for you today, you will do for all children in Jesus' name. As I am very in Jesus' name. You will bring joy of the church of God in Jesus' name. You will bring joy of the families in Jesus' name. Your parents and grandparents in Jesus' name. They will not regret. The reason for the food, the work of God, the one who lives in Jesus' name. In their own age, in Jesus' name. In their own age, they will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. In their own age, they will not be sick in Jesus' name. They will hate. The fruits of the labor of paradise. In good eyes in Jesus' name. When God peace are perfected in Jesus' name. And so the word of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, as I pray. All the words that I have today. The Lord will bless you as well in Jesus' name. We can send copies to the person who wants to live in the Lord. Because you are here today, the Lord will stop that to live in Jesus' name. As you are going back from this place today, all the problems that are following here will never come back to live in Jesus' name. Welcome to the Lord's name. Thank you, Father, for that prayer. Glory be to the Lord. I command you to the Lord Jesus. I command you to hold that to be today with the Lord Jesus. The children that come out of the lines, I call the Lord Jesus. It is well with you. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Tu pode dar a passagem de português e fuga. E eu nem sei que dá a passagem. Essa me faz de novo. E Deus pula a palavra. Se não te esquece. A palavra de Deus é João. Chapter number 15. Verse 5. Only one verse. Deus pula a palavra. Se não te esquece. A palavra de Deus é João. Chapter 15. Verse 5. As a little bit, because as you have no fool in the world, you have no fool in the world. 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 แต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแต่ชิ้นแ
in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. He will never force anything out of you. 
Lord. I never again that night. And knock on the door. And the man went to the door. Before he even attempted to open the door, the devil was already in. And there he did again. The other day he went to Jesus. It was just yesterday I gave you fifty percent of this building. Why is it that you not bother to rescue me? Look at you when you have the five down, I have the five up. I don't have to intrude into privacy. And you must say, okay, fine, if that is the case. I have no money. Okay, I give you nine. But for me, next up. I will take only one. Is that okay? Give us a thank you. Yes, you That's a night. Yeah, then I'm back to the house. And the man went to the door. I have to know that same one. They will came in and do everything again. So that the world to know. The following morning. The man was boiling. He went to Jesus. I said, What happened? Out of ten, I gave you nine. And yet you never bother to come and defend me. Jesus Christ said, That's the one belongs to you. And the man said, Okay, find that to the case. I give you all the ten. And just say, Thank you. That same night, Satan came. And started knocking. And as the man was making an attempt to go to the door, he had a full step behind him. At the same time, I remember I'm no longer the owner of this house. And he said, Let me step aside and see what happened. When he was got to the door, he opened the door with authority. He was not timid. He was not afraid because he was in charge. He opened the door with authority. I went there and saw me. He said, Sorry, I missed my way. And then we went back. If you make Jesus the foundation of your home, and you give everything to him, principalities and powers, they will bow to you. That's why I'm challenging you, come out here and say, Before you leave this place today, make a covenant to Jesus. That is all you want in your life. And you experience your happiness. The Bible told us that Cain did not listen. And he went to the way of destruction. There was a particular woman. The husband had Peter 504. And uh, anytime he wants to go out to the world, the husband will go to the side of the door and open the door for the wife protection. The wife will pass walk like this and enter. The husband will close the door. Whenever they get to where the man you are going, the husband will come out the gate of the car and open the door for the wife. The wife will pass walk again. And there was one of our friends that used to see her the way the husband used to treat her. And this woman got to They had a better house. And was, was thinking of going with your husband. So look at you, they are not even, they are not even, uh, they are not even romantic. Mr. Susan also, whenever he's going out to the wife, he wants to open the door of the wife. And the wife will seek of the And whenever he wants to come out, he will come out again and open the door. And you, you make it every time a big one open the door. A big one will see the door. He will come out and hold my hand. And he started to pick one of the door. He never knew that the reason why that man was coming out to open the door for the wife was that the door to their car was bad. The wife cannot open that door and sell from inside. Unless the other open that door from outside. But now you decide to compare yourself with someone else. You are like the one who has joy in your home. Leave your life the way God has made you. And you will discover that you will leave. 
live happily. You will live happily. The particular king was about to die. He is a successor. He called people around him. You know you are interested. How so soon they are going to provide the test for him? And all the men came together. And he gave them a seat. A place seat. To go and plant and then come back at a time. And they all went. They planted this seed. But the seed did not germinate. Some of the parents who are eager, they wanted their son to become king. They start to encourage their son, look, we have to be wise. Go and plant another seed. And many of them did just like this. But there was this boy. Who the mother told him that, well, you don't need to bother yourself. Why did he go to that day? Simply telling him that he did not die. And when the day came, they all assembled. Many of them came with the seed that germinated. And the king came to the courts. And said, Bring out the seed that are planted. And many of them came with maize that was already grown. It was only this boy that he made the wrong and the king said, Young boy, come. How come that your face is not good? He said, Well, I can't tell you this, something is not good. And from there, the man decided to pick him as the one that will inherit the throne. Because the day the king gave them the maize to plant, it was boiled maize that the king gave to every one of them. There was one man who can plant a boiled maize and it will grow. Many of them compared themselves with God that this one he has done is very also doing. And they miss the golden opportunity of, that can only come through honesty. Don't compare yourself with your neighbors. Don't compare yourself with your mates. Another boy who graduated many years back. Some of his friends riding messy beds. And when he got to me, he was sad. He was not happy. No job. See, my colleague is already riding a very good medicine. He yes. never knew that that man riding medicine was just a driver in the company. When you compare yourself with someone, you will have ready. You will pick up one with your wife or your husband. You will not be at peace with your neighbor. And you think that your prayer is not being answered. Wait for God's time for whatever you desire of Him. Don't live beyond your means. What I'm saying now, I'm not saying to Busayo and Kodade alone. Because many of us are like this. Many of us have experienced joy of the Lord. Many are not happy because of some of these things that I've just said. Don't live beyond your means. Whatever you have, be happy with it. Only, uh, oh, of you do magic things. Say what I cannot. I will put it by force. Eh? Uh, live within your means. Don't impress anybody. Glorify God for what you have. It is said that the difference between here and here. He just let that tea. As I may have a new one, he didn't see any letter tea. The English people here and here, the difference is just letter tea. Yet, the book, the authority, and the letter tea. And that tea stands for time. See, see, you don't want to go. There is something that time cannot bring to your life. For so, poverty and the one that was here. God will make everything beautiful in his own time. Wait for God's time. Don't live beyond your 
money on me. Man, bitch, you got that money. I can't afford because somebody is having uh, either home theater, is having flash screen, oh, and your salary cannot afford it. You work at borrowing, you go and uh, get, there is one credit something to, uh, is it Pomoli Lanta? Pomoli Lanta, I was surprised when they went. Jesus. As we are here today, I want to 
to make up your mind. Make Jesus the foundation of your own. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. Talk to somebody by your side. Say, so do you know without Jesus, you can do nothing? Tell another person by your side. Do you know without Jesus, you can do nothing? Continue to flourish the abundance of grace and love in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, folks, there at the event of the last Holy Spirit, cement them back in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks that are waiting for you, for the child of their own loins, Holy Spirit, I pray, bring it quickly in Jesus' name. Amen.